And boy, Javi, look at this. We got a very special Big Dave show and tell today. No Ashley or Chelsea. They couldn't be here, but that's all right. It gives us more time with uh, Ryan Hurd and Marin Morris down there at the bottom. How you guys doing? We're good. Thank you for having us today. You guys are fantastic. And uh, congratulations on the huge new song, Chasing After You. It's just, it's a monster. Yeah, it's been uh, an incredible uh, part of our year and the fact that we get to do it together and, and have, you know, it's just been wild to watch it go up the charts and, and we're super thrilled uh, that, that it's worked out like this. Well, we should say, I, I think most people do know, but there might be, you'd say you never assume anything that you and Marin are married. Yes, we are married and we're singing a song that kind of feels like the beginning of our relationship. But but yeah, it's uh, I think that it's a really natural collaboration because of that. And uh, the song has been such a blessing and so fun to do together. And I think because we are married, it kind of it's it's like adds to the story and for when people listen to it. Now, technically, Marin, this is one of Ryan's songs that you're you know helping out on. So. How hard was the sell on to get you to do it? You were like, hey, I've got my own stuff going on. Yeah, right. I mean, he didn't really have to pull my leg to do it. I wait, is that the saying? I think I so. Pull my arm. You pull my leg is like you're joking or like. Hey, I don't know. As long as he didn't ask you to pull his finger, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm sure you had happened before. But. <laughs> um, I mean, it's such a like long story to get to like where we even released it, you know, because we did not write this song. Our friends did. So we heard it years ago and it wasn't a duet. It was just um, going to be Ryan. And then I don't know. We just I loved it so much. Years ago, I put like harmonies on it and then it went through an iteration where I wrote like a bridge for it and we were going to like have me come in on the bridge. And then like during COVID, um, Ryan and his producer, Teddy, just revisited this song. And I don't know, like I was between um, albums and Ryan w wanted to put this out at the beginning of the year and it just felt like the right timing for both of us. And um I'm just so glad that we kind of waited to put it out when we did and this version of it, because I think it's perfect. And um, it's just been so encouraging to see people fall in love with the song because we fell in love with it like five years ago. So to see it be brand new to like a whole new audience is really cool. Well, Stat, you did some research on this and saw that for married couples and top 10 songs, which it now is and it's on its way up. Yeah, actually, Ryan, you sent a message out on Instagram about being the third married couple this century to do it, to reach the top 10. And I was going through the country, you know, collaborations of couples. And who did you count in your uh, in your post there? So I so I'm not it's not my stat either. I, I saw like somebody Tiffany? like a relatively official <laughs> U.S. radio airplay <laughs> Twitter say that. And I had to think about it, too. But they said it was Tim and Faith. And then they count Blake and Gwen. So I guess they just okay. got married. So it counts, right? So yeah. uh, All right. All right. they've had two this this year, or I guess in the last two years. And so, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to have our, our names next to theirs. As far I just thought for a second you were going to say uh, Blake and Trace Atkins. <laughs> you know, no, but there. that's a great song, too. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are great. Hey, so how long have you been married now? Almost, I guess, three years. Three. We've been married over three years. Yeah. We have an 18-month-old okay. baby. And, uh, yeah. We're going to ask Marin something right now, Ryan. Okay, Marin, what is the one thing that Ryan makes you watch with him on TV that you're like, okay, I hate this, but I'll go along with it because I want to be a good wife? I don't think he makes me watch anything. I'll just like go in the other room. But um, I mean, <laughs> there's there's a fair share of like ESPN going on. I just, it's like one of those things where one season for a sport will end. And then you're like, oh, cool. And then it just, he's already like placing bets for another sport. So it's like <laughs> the carousel doesn't stop. But I mean, he more has to put up with the garbage that I watch uh, <laughs> than the other way around. What do you want? I, let me, be, I'm going to guess stat because I think Marin's probably a lot like you and Chelsea, if she was here, you're watching all those murder shows on Netflix, aren't you? Those documentaries. She watches those. She watches a lot of Real Housewives of whatever, any town. Oh, no. And so oh, no. <laughs> uh, I know what's going on with those. Um, there's some great ones, though. I like The Drag Race. That's a great show. And I RuPaul, like. RuPaul, yeah. Yeah, that's an yeah. awesome show. And then I love. Um, <laughs> but we have we have a lot of stuff. We went through all the Marvel movies this year. Um, yes. And that was really cool in chronological order. So we were new to the Marvel universe, and now we're hooked. And we so. watched all 
um, six seasons, seven seasons of West Wing. Oh yeah, West Wing was. Oh my so gosh. Dope. And it's so easy, you know, because people think it's like it's ancient times back in the day. You'd watch an episode of that and have to wait a week to see what happened next, and now you're like, well, I'll just watch the next episode. It's already coming up. <laughs> yeah, that was like a four month um, commitment, but it was so worth it. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned sports. Do, do you have a fantasy football team, Ryan? I used to have a lot. I only have one now. Um, and what's the name of it? Oh, I don't even know. It's in my family, my herd, my herd family football fantasy football league. So it's just my name. It's not fun at all. But we have done it for like ten years, and it's all my uncles and all my cousins and my brother. And so uh, we have a good time with that. I was catching flack because I'm the commissioner of our league at the stations there and, and here in Cincinnati, and I had a really lame name. So I changed it the other day because I've got Rob Gronkowski as a tight end. So I changed it to the Honky Tonk Badonka Gronks. I love and that. That's so it's so timely. It's like good. both sporting and country music. So See, I love that. I like, to, I like to tie it all in. So I, love, next, I know we I love Gronk. for a couple more minutes. What's what's next for you guys? CMAs. <laughs> CMAs. We have a, a baby that's always next. <laughs> And um, congratulations no, wait, on the us... nomination. We don't have another baby. We're not, we're, we're one and done over here, but uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I thought we were one and done and then it was two and through. So okay. <laughs> I don't even know two what rhymes with three. Laugh, but... Laugh, but, uh, yeah. We're, mm. we're always just kind of like what's next for Hayes. And, and uh, yeah, I think it's just, we're looking forward to getting our albums out and getting the tour on the road. Just the fact that we get to tour again is, is something we don't take for granted. All right. Before we go, Statman, you got a question. Yes, because Halloween is right around the corner, and you guys are a fun couple. Have you ever done couples costumes in the past? No, but this year I think have now because Hayes is like walking. I would like to do a family theme. Yeah, just got to figure that out. Yeah, yeah I got a, I got one for you. You ready for oh, Hayes? Dude. You get like an old man Walker. And he goes as Walker Hayes. That's good. See? I love that. Yes. I, oh, that's really good. That. I love that. We'll and then Apple, he can do, he can do that. Dance. We'll get him a milkshake. He'll be we'll thrilled. Go, uh, yeah, we'll go to Applebee's with him. <laughs> the bourbon street steak and the Oreo shake. Well, oh, uh, oh, is that what you're drinking right now, Marin? No, it's coffee, but an Oreo shake sounds pretty clutch. Yeah, yeah it does. They didn't send us a bunch of a bunch of milkshakes like they did Walker. So <laughs> yeah, he's got free Applebee's for well, life. See, you know, oh next next song you guys do together, work in Texas Roadhouse. Or Chili's. <laughs> Heck yeah. 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 <laughs> Cracker Barrel, Golden Corral, and you'll be good to go. Uh, we got it. Marin Morris, Ryan Hurd, congratulations on all your success. Huge song. Marin, you had just a huge year. Even with COVID going on the past couple of years, you managed to just stay on the charts constantly with the bones and everything else. So congratulations, you guys. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. And uh, we'll see you soon. And Ryan, work on that fantasy football name game, okay? You got it, man. I, Next I, time. Expected, I expected better. With a last name like Herd, there's so many things that you can Hurricane. The Hurricanes. Know, the hurricane would be pretty <laughs> yeah. good. All right. Somebody already has that one. <laughs> hey, take care. We can't wait to see you guys back in Cincinnati soon. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. See you guys. <laughs>